हाई वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक वीडियो ऑन क्वांटम मैथ्स और हाउ टू डिफाइन क्वांटम मैथ्स फॉर टर्निंग सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो केयरफुली सो स्टार्टिंग द फर्स्ट स्लाइड वाट इज बैंड टू बैंड टर्निंग सो लाइक इन लोन लोकल टर्निंग मॉडल द पॉसिबल टर्निंग पैथ आर आइडेंटिफाइड बाय द सिमुलेटर और गिवन एज अ इनपुट बाय द यूजर एंड ऑल्सो वन मोर थिंग लाइक good in non local tunneling model is that it's provide handy tool for a quick and reasonable accurate analysis of tunneling in a tunnel fit and also it's widely used because there is a many tunneling model available in silvaco it depends on like uh, like in your research paper also where what paper they prefer but still they prefer mostly the non local tunneling because it is a like as written here that it's give me a uh, quick and reasonable accurate analysis for the tunneling path Uh, like for a T fat or some tunnel diode also in the solar cell. You know that in multi-junction solar cell, we use uh, like tunnel diode between the two uh, upper cells and bottom cells, or you can say multi-junction, multi-junction like triple junction something. There is a two tunnel diode and four junction. It's three tunnel diodes, similar like that. Uh, for that, you have to define the tunneling there. So uh, now start with the tunneling. so this is you can see that this is a conduction and valence band and this is a p tap and n tap region you can see that uh, like there is a band gap difference here there is a band gap difference but when uh, like due to the high electric field or something you can say high doping it comes near to each other and uh, like what happens is when it come near to each other that leads to tunneling between the electron or holes uh, in the conduct from valence band to conduction band or uh, tunneling of electron from the like conduction band to valence band so uh, this happens and for that uh, like you if you have to do in your simulation you have to define some syntax for that and that i will teach you in the bottom this is the syntax for defining the quantum mass okay so like you have to define like qtx dot m l and l is location s is spacing so it's similar like a massing which you have defined above it right Uh, like x dot m and something y dot m, but here is a q t is something uh, coming before that x. So see that what you do here is q t x dot m l equal to s location whatever it is. So you are defining the quantum tunneling where it occurs. So uh, if it is mentioned in your paper that tunneling is occurring there, you can directly use that. If it is not there, I will teach you the way how you can know that where the tunneling is occurring and how you can add the uh, this uh, quantum s. and also you have faced the issue that your tunneling is not proper or something oxide area is not tunneling is proper there so you can avoid that also with this way okay so let's see some example it's uh, some vertical t fed so you can see that uh, like if we assume that tunneling is occurring here okay so you have to give the look you know that x is constant here for tunneling to be occur here so x should be, x is a constant here right and if tunneling is occurring here also the x is constant here okay so you don't need to vary the for the channel one only you define you need to define the x for the channel one only channel one like quantum mass whatever defined for channel you have defined only that like if this is some location as a 0.002 and this is 0.0012 so you have to uh, like uh, only define the uh, like for x quantum x x you just divide uh, right like 0.02 and 0.0012 and just define the spacing as much precise as it can and then afterwards you define that and then you have to think about the y so how you think the y it is so if it is given in the paper that there is a tunneling occurring here or tunneling is occurring here so for that it's very easy you just uh, you add that location and you got the tunneling there but if it is not mentioned there then there is a way so that i will tell you so you, you got right uh, like this what i am saying right if channel a, channel is defined here channel is this one so tunneling is occurring in the vertical direction so you don't need to worry about that uh, what you have to define for a quantum x in the x direction like in the x direction you can define the channel a full channel a, uh, channel length you can say full channel length in the quantum x and uh and define it to be more spacing because uh like it needs more precise calculation for the quantum mass so let's see the why how to define y1 uh so like this is some example it's not a the above simulation it's just example it's i have made a some tunnel fed and i have taken a cut line 
vertical cut line because that is a vertical T fat. So I have taken a vertical cut line, and what I have done is uh, I have I am like before adding the quantum mass, I am I have checking that uh, whether there is a like a conduction band and valence band come near to each other or not. If it is not come near to each other, then there is no means to add the quantum mass because the, then the tunneling current is very low. If it is very far to each other, then tunneling current is always very low, and it is not a precise one. So for that, I have check that whether the when it come near to each other so uh, when before adding the quantum mass i got to know that uh, in the conduction band and valence band come near the dislocation so what i do after uh, finding the band gap energy i like or band energy band gap i am going back to uh, like in the code and then i add the quantum mass and the quantum mass for y so because you have to know that where the tunneling is occurring so for that you have to first make the conduction band or valence band uh, calculation like you got that oh there is a tunneling occurring here in this point uh, like here this is tunneling is occurring so you uh, have to add that in your quantum mass so let's say as i told you right this is 0 0.02 and 0 0.012 for example so what i will add here is i will show you with the help of some other tools so let's see that let's us assume to be uh, more precisely says this is the area where the tunneling occurs right so what i can do is qtx m dot like channel region i have already tell you right it's uh, it's 0 0.002 spacing it should be very precise like prefer to be very very low not that much low because then it will show allocation failure but prefer to be like if it's so allocation failure for that and it's very slow then prefer to make larger okay 0 0.012 and spacing if it is little bit confusing for you to understand my one just uh, like hear my voice what i'm saying allocation 0 0.0012 spacing 0 0.0000001 okay so this way i have defined this uh, for this things and afterwards uh, like then for y1 what i do is qty i just see that oh location is this one uh, from like i think turning is occurring here to here so what i do is i will define qty location 0, 0.0 i guess it's 0 0.08 or you can approximate to be 0 0.08 or 9 9 not 9 it's 0 0.085 and the spacing something it's make it more precise because not that much precise if it is showing allocation failure so change it if it is not showing allocation failure you can make it more precise also it's not the issue because sometimes it's there is a memory right so you can't do like uh, allocated virtual memory more than allocated virtual memory so you have to take care of that so, and one one some spacing is there 0 0.000005 you can define like this and it is a better way and if you are doing unknowingly right what is the y location where the tunneling is occurring then what happens is you define somewhere here so here the tunneling is not occurring and it's not a precise one also so it is always showing your quantum mass error or something error is there always there so for avoiding that don't add first the quantum mass just see that whether uh, like quantum mass is occurring where like where we need the quantum mass or where the tunneling may occur like where the conduction band and valence band comes near to each other then you got to know or the here it is coming in the uh, by using the cut line you got to know via where the conduction band and valence band coming to each, each other and there you define the uh, tunneling locations okay and that will give you the more precise result so okay and now coming back to slide so as you can see that i have also shown here like i have know that why for why i have to add this and for x as i already tell you that full area is that tunneling is occurring like it's not like a hurry only tunneling is occurring because uh, it's band for i'm making cut line vertically so whether i make a cut line here and cut line here it's almost same so for that i knew that tunneling is occurring in this region or either in this region when it's come to each other near to each other so yeah afterwards doing this and uh, you got to know and then the model parts so for model uh, like see whether it's a vertical defect or uh, like horizontal defect or normal defect you can say so see that where the tunneling occurring so if the tunneling is occurring in a vertical direction 
then you have to add the direction for that and for the if it is occurring in a horizontal direction you have to add the location for that so what is the location for that only i will tell you for a q turn dot dr is a direction thing turning direction so you can add zero or one okay so zero for vertical one and one for horizontal one and for non local band to band tunneling you have to add bbt dot non local there is a one more thing is bbt dot forward or bbt dot for backward so tunneling is occurring in a band to band tunneling in a forward direction for forward and backward direction you had to add to be backward so you have to uh, take care of uh, what model you have to you will get this from your research paper also they also mention that they are using non local band to band tunneling then you got to know uh, you have to use this one and prefer here not to use other methods because gumal will not work here and uh, like you have to always use the newton and otto nr here if you use gumal it will show error because gumal is not meant for the tunneling purpose tunneling tunneling calculations okay so use here newton method for calculation purpose so if you have any doubt in this one you can tell me i will clear your doubts for a quantum tunneling and yeah this is all from my side and thanks and tell me the topic in which you want to me to make video in the comment box it is very helpful me to know what is your doubt actually i am making i am trying to make full videos on all the topics but still uh, if some particular topic you want to know then i will make video on that okay thanks bye